to the Bad Inputs Podcast, where we have the daily do's and don'ts of culture and games and videos and movies and videos and games and right? stuff. And videos and oh, games. And games. And game and videos and movies. Games and videos and, and, videos and, and stuff. And stuff. And I've movies. seen. And seen? Movies. Uh, and movies. <laughs> um, I'm here with my co-hosts. Um, Tokyo Lurker. How you doing? Fuck you! Okay. Uh, and my other co hosts. Me! CJ <laughs> Me! AKA me. The, the, this guy that you know, me. Yeah, he's sometimes you know. a meme. It's a meme! <laughs> It's me. Oh, it's gonna be out in a week. My Odyssey's out in a week, guys. Oh, really? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. So, literally a week from today, it's I'm gonna be out. I'm oddly excited to see that. Actually, Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey delete. delete. Wow, that was, a, that, was that was that was a that was a stretch. I'm honestly, honestly, odysseusly. Odyssey. Oh, Jesus. Iliad. Homer. <laughs> uh, yeah. Smart. Speaking so of uh, Marge, the sirens tried to get to me. Marge, <laughs> Marge, <laughs> you're the best scream. What? <laughs> I can't do that scream. That's like one of the most iconic things about him. Besides, besides the old donuts yeah, thing, right? or the dough, yeah. Dough, dough. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? How, how's, how's the week been? I'm wet. Wow. I'm, just, wow. I'm just wetter than your average... I'm just wet? Just damp? I'm wetter than your average goddess could ever be. Your oh, average sh- goddess? Yeah. Holy shit, I'm man. your Venus. You're full of I have a penis. <laughs> I'm on fire. That's not... How are you doing today, Colin? Shit. How are you doing today, Colin? there's so many absurdities. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> My Where? penis is a penis. Those, those two literally contradict each other. Are you other. wetter than Uranus's Neptune? Better than I've been... I said that okay, backwards. Last time, baby. How are you, Colin? I was good. <laughs> Way to keep it basic, Colin. It's, uh, hey, man. I'm just. I'm a basic, simple. I'm a basic white boy. All right. That's what I was told by my stream. I was a basic ass white boy because I eat because I yeah. eat normal things. I told about my food habits, and they're like, "You're basic as fuck." Basic. Yeah. Well, what does that mean? I don't know. It meant that when well, I was like, like, "Isn't your food habits?" Why do you think it's uh, basic? Oh, because I used to eat pasta with just butter. Oh, that like guy. how long you ago? That guy. Oh, like yesterday. I could do it yesterday, but probably like as like as uh, probably seven years ago was when I stopped. Okay, I remember I introduced you to some kind of a burger or something, a different kind. Yeah, of I didn't eat burgers either. You used to got, get like ketchup only or something. Yeah, I would only plain. get a burger with yeah, ke- yeah a plain yeah, burger. Yeah, yeah, I was like, no, Colin, don't do that. I, like, eat I get plain burgers too with cheese also. Oh my God. So I get cheese, but then like I don't know, I'm kind of like. Less give a fuckish mode sometimes if I'm hungry. I'm like, just give me a, sh- a burger, um, Veronica. And <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Veronica. As I, she's my, she knows I acquaint my local in and out daily. <laughs> I'm like, I need a protein style so I can pretend to feel healthy when I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> right. At least those, I, I always feel like just from the taste that in and out is, uh, is just freshly made. Like it's, mm-hmm. it doesn't. It's just like I'm not trying to get advertise it. Like never frozen. You eat, but like it's, we talked about it before. It's the buns. Yeah, the, the buns. I love it. It's because the buns, nice and toasted. It. But people yeah. hate In and Out, man. Like besides people who live in How LA, they from the East, they hate the people it. Like, from the yeah, East Coast hate it. And because, the West, in the Midwest, because they're they, stupid. They praise, <laughs> because they're stupid butter burger places. They praise White they Castle. That shit. They praise White Castle. No, they they praise like Whataburger. Yeah, when you say like Whataburger, and then like the fuck this, is Whataburger exactly and butter burgers too. People say that those are so much better. Like. I, I, I've, I've, we talked. About, I'm convinced that people don't like In and Out because it's it California. gets so popular. Oh. Yeah, because well, part of that because it's so popular, or it's just hyped up so much that people are like, "Oh man, oh In and Out's so good," and then they try and like it's not that good. Mm-hmm. But that special sauce, though, it, it's, it's just Thousand what special Island. sauce? It's just Thousand Island. <laughs> but it's on it. I, I've never. I get it <laughs> plain. And has, and I get it on the animal fries. That's fine. Animal, yeah. I'll do it yeah, like that. Small, I haven't had that animal style fries. Yeah, year. Oh, so I haven't year, 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 years. I haven't had it in a year. I haven't had it in tears years. for years. <laughs> I want that in my belly. So I and you can kind of. I don't know. Feel bad for people that don't have it out there because there was a prank called Humor played like back in 2009. Mm-hmm. They put a sign saying "In and Out coming soon in New York," and people fucking ah, bought bitch. it. <laughs> <laughs> and like they revealed that it was their prank, and so they got like notoriety for it as well. That's pretty funny. I was gonna say I don't feel bad for him. Come mm-hmm. move to fucking California, then you yeah. In and out. F- fuck with me. Like, I don't know, man. I feel like people are doing it. Like there was a there's a basketball player, I think uh, De'Aaron Fox. Mm-hmm. I want to say it, it was. 
he was saying he was like, oh yeah, Carl's Jr. Or, or like or Wendy's has better burgers than In and Out, and I was like, you're just being, you're like you're just fucking wrong. Like I don't, I don't care how many burgers you had. If you're saying that Wendy's is better than In and Out, you're you're just purely just don't like it because it's popular. Like yeah. you're a contrarian. Yeah, I'm sorry, you yeah. just are. You don't know taste. And that is all California bias, and I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Did you? Yeah, put man, I love this? being pegged. So, what else do you guys talk about? Uh, did you put? Uh, did you put apple juice in this? Yeah. Oh, a good cream soda apple juice mix. Is okay. It nice? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. What, what are you gonna call it? Here. What are you gonna call it? Uh, ooh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Apple cream. Sa- See, it's too. E- no, that's too easy. Cider it's Jacks. Too easy. Okay, no. well, let's think about it. Bacardi Bacard. is rum. Bacardi rum. Yeah. Pirates like rum. Mm-hmm. They eat apples. Do they eat apples? So let's just call it Captain Cream Pants. I don't know how that coincides with apples. Uh, Crapple. <laughs> there you go. Crapple juice. Cra- cra- crapple juice. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely enticing. I would definitely want to drink crapple juice. The crapple cream. Juice. The crapple cream. The crapple cream. The crapple cream. The crap of the crap crap of the crap of crap 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 de la creme. Yes. Crap de la creme. That's it. Crap de la creme. Crap de la creme. That's it. Boom. We did it, guys. We're bartenders. Yes. Um. Well, so yesterday. We all decided. Normally, we record, but so we decided we were going to watch the, the cult old, classic Blade Runner. Wow, Wow West. <laughs> <laughs> what? With Will Smith. Woo, ha ha. <laughs> and, and a Freddy giant Prince mechanical Jr. spider. <laughs> <laughs> well, why did that exist? Because. Wow. I think. It was pretty <laughs> 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 no, I can't argue with that. What any reason? <laughs> West, Jim West, Desperado. Tim's son, no, they don't want none, no, no, none of this. Be wrecking this, bust, busting the yes, 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 yes. You yes, know yes. the whole thing. No, know not at all. all. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. It's like the, it's one of those songs you know, like the first five words of. Yeah. Like, yeah. One more time. That's it. Then we want to celebrate. Uh, yeah. All right. It's time to dance. In. One more time. That's all. I, I didn't we know that. Won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop. <laughs> What's your favorite go to club hearing songs? Since it's that we're talking about Blade Runner, you know, going to clubs is kind of futuristic. Lots of stuff that happened. I wish there. they did a club scene. They didn't do any of that. I feel like that's so, that's so cliche for like what is it? Uh, futuristic films. Like you see like a yeah, I don't know. Last year movie. in Vegas we heard uh what's that song? It's the second song on uh, Kanye's album. Beautiful morning. Beautiful. Oh, Arms yeah, high. Arms true. stretched. Uh, yeah, Father Raised My Hands or whatever. Yeah, Father. yeah. That song played in the club last year. That sounded that is, really dope. That is that actually awesome. true. Yeah. yeah, we went. Yeah, that was... Uh, was that the last club we went to? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, there were a lot of like mainstream songs that wasn't just techno. Because that's kind of the way it goes when you go to Vegas, for sure. Is like when you have the pool party, he's like, all you hear is techno. I, I would say I would say one of my favorite club-going songs... God, that's a hard one, actually. Pop, lock, and drop. Okay. <laughs> Who's that thing got mama that you get it in my pants? Um, you know, I actually, you know, I know this is probably cliche, but I, like, honestly, I don't mind the low. Blow? Low. Oh. The flow right is low. Blow? Right blow. Low? <laughs> yeah, I don't mind cocaine. I'm not like, doing it off girls' asses. I was like, that was not the question, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a good, yeah, good low, what? like, find a booty now. song, definitely. <laughs> what about you, Eloy? Um, it <laughs> have to be Hey Baby. By Dead Mouse. What song's that? I don't hey, remember. baby. Hey, baby. Don't you think? Like, what you drinking? What you like, feeling? Oh, what you drinking? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> I swear that's how it goes. Like, that's, 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 that's exactly how it goes. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. just like the beginning. And then just, hey, baby. So, so if I, like, here, I'll, like, you do the, you do the chorus part and I'll do the beat. Like, this is how it's ended. All right. Okay. Hey, baby. <laughs> What you thinking? What you knowing? Who you doing? Who you screwing? Uh, hey, uh, baby! Uh, Seriously, uh, <laughs> that's exactly how good. And it's like, and she is absolutely like moaning. Seriously, that's Jesus. Yeah. Like it's oh literally like, God. hey, baby. And the, yeah, there's, there's literally a, like a breakdown where it stops, and it's like, oh, <laughs> oh my God! Like, it's not, I no joke. Viewers, I'm sorry you're listening I, to us scream. I feel like, <laughs> I feel, I actually feel like, like I've heard that. Before. <laughs> that sounds kind of familiar. Yeah. I, I'm sure we played it for you yeah, once yeah. or twice, hey, baby. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Guys, think about Blade Runner yesterday, with the in, in midst of the oh. second of the sequel. I had time to think about it. Mm-hmm. Talked to a couple of people last night, practice about it, uh-huh. and uh, apparently, there's a different ending. What? <laughs> yeah, there's there's six different. Because he was like, "Did you did the version you watch have the unicorn in it or not?" I was like, "It had the unicorn in it." He's like, "Okay." He's like, "They ended with their blah 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 blah, and kind of like a cliffhanger ending." I was like, "Yeah." He's like, oh, "Okay, yeah." 
And he's like, you didn't really? I was like, I didn't hate it, but like a lot of the stuff happened. I think things happened too fast towards the end of the movie. Mm-hmm. Like it started, it just culminated really fast. I agree with that. Pacing, dude, sucked. Yeah, the pacing sucked. Dude was making out with his father and like killed him. <laughs> and then that, that? like that was the start of the third act. That was yeah. literally the start of the third act when yeah. he started making out with his dad. And <laughs> and so was, like, I thought the movie was pretty cool though because there's not a lot of movies that can set the scene that well that yeah. fast. Yeah, also. that was true. Mm-hmm. That was pretty awesome. It got, it got us invested right just from the opening scenes and it was like just the so aesthetic. Visually stunning. Yeah. From the yeah. Beginning. Oh, L.A. in the future. Wow, they really actually did a great job on it. Like yeah. Some blocks and buildings with lights that look like a Lego set or something. Well, it, and it looked. I think mean, I was saying yesterday too is that it looked it looked good enough where it wasn't like too overblown. Like there wasn't there wasn't anything um that stuck out where I was like, oh man, like there was nothing that could that could suspend my disbelief or or that that did away with my suspension of disbelief as far as the, the setting went. But the yeah, I think pacing is a whole issue because it's like it just it felt like I was talking to Mason about it too, is like it felt like there were three storylines that all sort of they 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 clash together rather than blended to sort of come up with like one overarching theme. Which it was storyline. So was, him, his Harrison Ford's character, his yeah, fucking face, just like the the time. Harrison yeah, Ford the, hated the movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he's movie. got the greatest stink face I've ever fucking seen in my life. Yeah, my lawn. Um, so his his whole storyline. Well, well so he, yeah, because he was like, I'm a former cop. Like I'm not doing this anymore. And like, so there was obviously like this struggle of. Of uh, of him like wanting to do like like that's why he sort of got with that girl is that he was like he still had to do his job but he doesn't really care that much about his job because of the nature of it of killing robots and all that stuff and I guess he has obviously some issue with it yeah. but they didn't go deeper into that and then there was the girl that he met during the Tyrell Corporation thing and they just like that was the weirdest so it was just like they it's met trashy. they do a hundred question test and then she comes over to his house because she's just intrigued he tells her she's a robot she gets all fucking pissed off she leaves he calls her drunk at a bar to invite her she doesn't want to come then they robot. start then they start making out and I'm like I don't it, I want your robot pussy <laughs> <laughs> but doesn't doesn't that just oh finish finish that. Um, well so and, so that was that part and then there was the three remnants that or the four remnants or whatever, including the girl, that were on the run, and like we got sort of a taste of them. I actually think they did a, the best job with the remnants, but like it felt like there wasn't a good motivation for all of those things to sort of come. Like it didn't feel like the motivation from Harrison Ford to get with her and vice versa didn't make that made no sense to me. And then the ending was so rushed; it was just like, oh hey, we have these three bad guys. You pretty much learn. Zero about their character besides the last guy. Like none of them was like like had a good expression of character. Like Lloyd or whatever was what it was, it was just a, it was just dumb as doornails, and that was it. Yeah, and then, was funny. And then he the girl was creepy. So fucking dumb. The, the girl was just creepy. Yeah, and I don't know. Like I, I don't know. It just felt like it felt like there was a lot there, but it didn't feel like it all <clears throat> blended together well to like have some weight to any of it. It all just felt like they were just chucking storylines. Well, mm-hmm. I was reading. I was reading up on it this morning a little bit and. Keep in mind, there's seven different endings for the story. There's seven different layouts mm-hmm. for the whole story. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, nuts. like, you know, it didn't it didn't do well. When you said remnants, didn't you mean replicas? I forgot they were. I thought they were called. Re- I, didn't, no, see, I forgot what the fucking names replicas, were. Yeah, okay. is it replica? So I, I don't remember. Like, Wasn't it remnants? I, I thought it was remnants. remnants. Pieces. Of the, the replicants. Replicants. replicants? replicants. Oh, I was saying okay. remnants. Oh, sorry about okay. that. Yeah, I forgot um, the name. What was I gonna say? Okay, so yeah, there's seven different um, uh, layouts of the story. Also, it didn't do well right when it came out in the movie theaters. Mm. It was actually kind of shitty. I think really? it made twenty eight. The budget was like twenty eight point six or something. And, and then the like, cult classic title. Yeah, and no. then and then they made uh, thirty two million or something like that. Thirty three million. In the mosque, not a lot. Yeah, so it's not a lot. Not yeah. a lot overhead or whatever the fuck it was. Um, but it was like yeah, it just as the movie as years going on, went on, people just enjoyed the movie. It became a cult classic, and mm. they enjoyed it more for the. The visually aesthetically pleasing and the sci-fi element to it, and also the neo neo noir aspect of it that it you don't cool. see in a lot of movies, which Mm-mm. is a dying breed in today. Well, noir is hard to do because it's it, like even though there's all these futuristic things, there's not, not really neo noir like futuristic. Well, yeah, noir. Well, like but, what? but the noir yeah. sort of the noir sort of genre or or plot device or plot line whatever you want to call it sort of it, it, it kind of followed it still followed the same sort of tr- like some tropes but not too obvious like it's obviously like 
like, oh, I'm a detector. Hey, sweet, hey, sweet tits. Uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, down yeah. with this. Yeah. And then, like, and then they make out eventually, but there's, like, some reluctance there because it's like, and that's I don't want to get, get you, hurt. And then, like, that's to get you to recognize what type of movie it is. Yeah. Definitely. Those are, like, the, you yeah, know, to the harken devices, back to, like, the, the 30s, 40s, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah, Which so is you, cool. You know, you can, like, recognize that stuff. But besides that, I mean, yeah, it is good film for me, at least. It wasn't, it wasn't, look, yeah. that's, that's the thing is, it wasn't bad. I it just, was long. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I fucking fell asleep. I actually felt like it was short for me. I fell, I fell asleep. I know you did. I, I, I was yeah, dozing. I passed out. I farted. I was dozing in and out. Yeah, <laughs> Eloy really got pizza, and then uh, we ate it, kept watching the movie. I noticed, that's like, you know, it's a good movie also, we took like a 15, 20 minute break between it. Yeah, I ate it, kept watching it, all of a sudden we hear the... <laughs> And then he was like, oh, oh. <laughs> he woke he himself woke up. Himself from his farm party, like some kind of like oh. golden retriever or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Blade it's Runner. Really good enough for me to fall asleep and you know fart. It's very up. snug. It's a comfy feeling movie. Yeah, it was. I feel there's like there's a lot, lot of happening. there's a lot of white noise. I feel. Also yeah, yeah, like yes. a lot of like. Whoa, 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 yeah, that's a good way to. Yeah, like yeah. good way to. So this that. came out June twenty fifth, nineteen eighty two. Uh, rated R. And lifetime mm. gross is thirty-two million. Domestic total is twenty-seven million. Uh, see the weekend it came out. How about that? Da, 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 la la la. Ooh. So six plus five. Yeah. Wait, which one do we yeah, do? Wow, that that dropped off real fast. Yeah. Oh shit! Well. What did it drop off to, boys? It went from so on June twenty-fifth, opening day, went from six million. Then you go about two weeks later, June nine or July 9th, it went down to two point five mil. That's Pretty bad. Yeah. That's. Uh, I mean, I, I I would be interested to 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 ask like like my dad and my mom if they saw that movie like on opening day. Yeah. And see what they thought about it. Cause I'm trying to I'm trying to compare like other movies that came out in the '80s. Like, I don't really I don't really know like what was out in that time to. Yeah, all like, I can think of like all I can think of really are comedies like like yeah. Bill and Ted or like uh-huh. Ferris Bueller. Or yeah. Like, Fucking yeah. were Ghostbusters. Yeah, well, because I, I, I think that have a big factor in as well. Like you know, modern day civil war going up against like you know some other know, movie, some other. Oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. Like, look, look, look at what movies came out in 1982. Sure, yeah. yeah. we yeah. looked up the came out the same weekend also. Yeah. Um, oh, and sweet. I shared it also before we watched the movie. It had a drummer from a church. He's like in his 70s, and he said he saw it when it first came out, and so he's probably in his early 40s around that time mm-hmm. and I think it's the same thing we were saying you don't hate it but wow this is so futuristic not a lot of people are going to get it and they're probably just, turned off by just it just for the guy who, who who wrote the book it was an adaptation um, just to think of all that shit that's fucking crazy mm-hmm. that is insane it's just pretty to nuts. fucking do that, that and that got him a place in Hollywood that's pretty, pretty cool much, yeah yeah, I'm I'm glad that this I'm glad this movie exists for sure. It's it's there's definitely some like some parts that I wish they sort of touched up on or touched more on. Yeah. But but that's the thing is it's hard this is and it might be it could be a product of this like just it's hard to adapt books properly just pretty much anywhere. Like That's true. Yeah. Like I think Hunger Games according to like I didn't think it did a good job personally, but a lot of people loved the book adapt- adaptation for it. Harry Potter is also a good one. Like Harry mm-hmm. Potter. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Sorry. What happened? No, I think the weekend. What is this? The one? weekend that that came out. Oh 18th, wow! Wait, it's the 25th, right? Rocky three and E. T. No, came out. Is, so this is June 18th, 18th to the 20th. So 82. this is the weekend before. Yeah. And so oh. we have E. T. Rocky Ooh. three, Star Trek two, Wrath the fucking two. Con, Poltergeist, Poltergeist Annie, Annie, Conan the Barbarian, Porky's. I've never seen Porky. I have no idea. We have to watch Porky. That's a that's that a good is. movie. I've never I've never even heard of that yeah. to be like honest. Tits? You like Animal House? You love Porky's. Cool. <laughs> I watch it. I like Animal Animal House is a good movie. Okay, so let's go to the weekend of June twenty fifth. Okay, Blade Runner, The Thing. Oh shit! So it, okay, how they much had ET some. How made over Blade Runner? Woo, baby. It's what seven yeah. million more? They, they, oh, yeah, they passed, no competition. They doubled it. Not yeah. not. Yet. Okay, they, it has, oh, he has some boy. competition. Yeah, like that's a pretty big competition. I wonder what Firefox is. Mm-hmm. That's an interesting. I, that, that movie seemed to have debuted really well. I never even heard of that. Rocky Three didn't make that much money. <laughs> made Five million dollars, probably ten million dollars between two weekends. It looks mm, like that's nuts. And the oh, the Wrath of Khan came out too. Are you kidding? Who that's like to? that's a Star Trek. That's yeah. a Star Trek staple, right? Yeah. Khan! <laughs> I was about to ask who wants to do the yell. Yeah. <laughs> Khan. Khan. 
Annie also. We looked over Annie. Annie, oh, Annie stayed sixth between last this weekend it came out and the last weekend also. It started fifth and dropped down to sixth. Right. It stayed up there for a while. And it, stayed, okay. it, made this, it looked like it made the same the same amount of money without really dropping off much. Yeah, so it's fifth again. Yeah. Annie. Sixth. Annie. Yeah, see, they're consistent. Sit ninth? And then look, Blade only Runner's coming on. Blade Runner is quickly dropping. Only yeah. because the wood came no. out July 16th through the 18th. Raiders of Lost Ark. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there's just Tron. Sad. Tron. Are so, you like, that's, that's another futuristic movie. Yeah. Oh, the Secret of Nim. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I've actually never seen that. I've just, I've just heard of it. The Midsummer's Nights. The Midsummer's Nights sex comedy. So, maybe, tr- maybe uh, Blade Runner didn't make that much because. I'll, <laughs> horrible timing. Yeah. And also, Tron came out less than a month after. Like damn, it's, I mean, it, it had that yeah, futuristic that neo space, yeah, but it just disappeared. Yeah, because. Steven Spielberg is in his own room, fucking rubbing his nipples with dollar bills right now. <laughs> oh, oh my like, god! Oh yeah, everything up. yeah, you like fucking that dirty looking up. little alien? Yeah, mm-hmm. fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> for real. I want to see what Tron 13 made. Thirteen million. He was making thirteen million pretty much every weekend off that movie. That's that's not even okay. Uh, it's opening weekend. Tron made four million. So let's, not bad. It's along the lines of, uh, I almost said, uh, Blade, you know, wow, Blade Runner, cult classic. What about E.T.? Hmm? Yeah, look at this. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> opening, opening weekend, $11 million <laughs> opening weekend. And then At it just one keeps point going up. $16 million? Look, at the, look, at the look it just gross. keeps going up. Yeah, that's gross. That's fucking word of mouth yeah. right there. That is word of mouth. Your product goes up a million dollars for two weekends straight. Yeah. That's <laughs> Damn. Okay. Wait, what, what, why is it showing? Oh, it's why is it show, why is it showing July two through four, and then July second through fifth? I think uh, the fourth of July kind of I think excuse it. Ah, uh, that's oh okay. That's that's good. That's good. They probably do that. Uh, and yeah. It, it finally stopped making above five million dollars. It went up. <laughs> it went down to seven oh million from August oh, to September, and then went back up. Then it's finally, all I can say is advertising. 10th. Holy shit! And then it started dying down. Yeah. Right, it was uh, Pink Floyd's "The Wall." Well, that's pretty. pretty <laughs> Fast cool. times at Ridgemont High, baby. Oh yeah, Friday Thirteenth Part Three. <laughs> Zapped. Oh, reissue of Star Wars uh, came out. Uh, Look how much it made. Uh, yeah, uh, barely five hundred twenty thousand. Well, this was only like. It was probably like what, like seven years or five years after the movie was made. So yeah. that was the first reissue already. Yeah, that's crazy. Damn. That's kind of, so. Do you see that? The, look at the lifetime sales of ET, dude. That made, I think I saw four hundred fifty-nine million dollars. I think I saw that. That's or four hundred thirty-five. There you go. Domestic <laughs> lifetime growth. That's disgusting. He didn't have to make any other movies. He probably could have lived off that. Yeah, really, he honestly yep. could. Yep, it's PG also, so that's everyone insane. wins. Well, and he also will wait, and then product the budget Stark was out too, right? Ten point five million for the budget. <laughs> Ten point five. He for the budget octupled his budget. Sure. Yeah, he went up. Oh my god! I think he went up four thousand percent. I think if I'm if my math is correct. I never saw a day bad inputs return to a movie podcast. <laughs> Thank you. Shit, right? I blame you, Eloy. <laughs> Let's see, Raiders of the Lost. All right, how much do you, need, do you guys think that made opening weekend? Uh, opening weekend, I bet. Woo! Like, Look at that domestic like, damn, 248. Also, wait, isn't that all? That's also Steven Spielberg and George Lucas. They worked yeah. on that. Yeah, that's when they were yeah. Yeah. yeah, pegging big time. Jesus, dude. They were Steven just eight. They million. were the shit. They were the shit. Dude. Eight million. So sixteen million. The two weekends combined. That's eighty-one. Then the reissue. Still made money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steven Spielberg was literally a walking dollar sign in the 80s. Yeah. Like, are you kidding me? Did he mean mm-hmm. Animaniacs? He was in that also for some weird reason. Oh, I forgot. Damn, okay. Dude. He okay. made a pretty decent Wii game called Bow to Block whatever. No, not Bow to Block Weird. Really? But yeah, he made some, or like helped make it. Like made like some, but it was actually pretty good. It got like like an 8 or like an 8.5 or something on, on IGN. Oh, okay. So, uh, God damn it. I really wish. Mike, I think, is buzzing. So, uh, yeah. to move away from the movies, unfortunately, and I yeah. hate to keep these podcasts under an hour, but fucking YouTube doesn't like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm in a bit of a blind date <laughs> situation, Whoa. I guess. Really? Yeah. Who set you up? Uh, <laughs> Buki's friend, Mo, oh, from uh, Valencia, we went to high school in. Mm-hmm. You can't. Track that also, viewers, because there are multiple Valencias in California, so suck off. There's and, Valencia uh, and Madrid. 
Yes. Of yes. Madrid. Football. Football. And, uh, <laughs> I think early, late September, he was like, I want to try to set you up. She's a twin. Very cute girl. Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then a girl named Devin, who I saw start coming to my church about a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, cute also, but mm-hmm. very quiet. So I didn't get to know her until like this year. Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, I want okay. to try to set you guys up. I think you guys would be good for each other. So she was supposed to come to a bowling thing youth group was having. Okay. Yep. And, um, couldn't make it because her and her sister had to go to a wedding. Uh, so Devin, uh, she's getting married. Don't know the date yet, but it seems like that's going to be the date that we're going to meet unless I'm down just to go on a complete blind date. So it's either going to blind date, normal dinner, blah, 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 or go to wedding, go to wedding. wedding blind date as a plus one <laughs> wedding. for this girl. I say wedding. wedding. I say I'm down for a wedding. I'll, I I'm down. Wedding. I need a sitcom situation in my life. Emotions are high. Time. You know, you yeah. guys could like do a little thing, you know, hey, you know. Yeah, uh, there's something to talk about. Funny, always. funny yeah. meeting you here. Let's dance on the <laughs> dance floor. Remember, this floor. is also not a normal situation. This is a... <laughs> yeah. I am a. This is a perfect I am setup. Seen as my former self was, mm-hmm. my ex girlfriends hated yeah. as an innocent boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then, it's a, well, I bet once they got to know you, like, oh, you were not. Yeah, you're a son yeah, of a no, bitch. No, I was no. called son of a yeah. bitch in a loving way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was at Northridge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I go, I go for the wedding. That's wait, a perfect oh, situation. Yeah. Are you? Wait. Are your parents going? Mm-mm. Okay. Oh so you yeah. Drink. Or is there a bar? I don't know. I don't okay. know. <laughs> so that, that's kind of like, it, it helps. I, mean, I just found out a couple of the guys at the church, they are uh, pleasant drinkers when they mentioned, yeah, we went to have a meeting for the Human Lake because a bunch of teens go to Lake, many staffers. We had a meeting at the Pocock about it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I was like, oh, we just all are uh, ravishing in our sins. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. It's, it's fine. Every alcohol is secretly the blood of Jesus. No, it's yeah, it's, it's been that. referred to as... Uh, Partaking in joyous <laughs> I celebrations meetings with our brothers. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. But if there's, so if there's going to be a bar, I would say that helps because mm. you can automatically say, "Hey, can I buy you a drink?" Automatically is a conversation yeah. starter, and you're at. And as he's saying, sort of like. You're in the mood. You're sort of there to just be happy and enjoy yeah. the thing. Yeah. People, it's a celebration. You. You it's a celebration. Like, it's a good thinking about the future, I'm sure they're be thinking about it as mm-hmm. well. It's you a, know, prospects and so so. And people so, are looking their best. That's already, not the so issue. Yeah. Like, that, so what are you going to say to her? Gonna, uh, we, the issue what's is what's your first word. I think what's your first thing? Yeah, huh. Colin May has seen it. We went to Oktoberfest. Yeah. A certain person of my kin's friend. Uh-huh. I'm taking a slight interest in me as well. Oh, is she gonna be? There? She, she, has she kept talking to you since. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Is what, she is gonna she be going? there? No, she's not gonna yeah, be I was there. Like, that was, that's fine. To, I think we're that's gonna good. hang out this weekend. That's also. all game. I mean, all game. Look. That's all game. This is literal devil Toki, angel Toki. So, I, I think it's always good to never put your eggs in one basket. Mm-hmm. From a person who has put his eggs in one basket too many fucking times. Mm-hmm. Separate your eggs in your baskets. Yeah. Just, just I'm don't. too old. I don't juggle anymore. Are you fucking kidding me? I want, if it's Stop one, funny. if it's two eggs, it's okay. You got two hands. No, but ju- but juggling. This is the thing. It's like, two. <laughs> let's okay, let's give <laughs> advice to the youngers. I've done that before. It's and not. It's, it's hard. With it's two, hard. with two, it's hard. with two, it's not that bad. You yes, can't it add is. three. You, you can't said add Vlad. Three. It's not that bad. <laughs> with two, it's okay. With three, then you start to get complicated. I, dude, it's bad with two. Just from just from. The, it's nearing it's, three. Oh shit. It's and, and this is this is the thing that we're at our age now. Like when you're when you're like when, when you're in high school, the fact that these girls are sort of attracted to us or whatever, like that's enough. Where we're like, all right, I'll put in the work. We got shit to do now, dude. We're twenty. We're tired. Well, think about we it. Got, like like I don't like personally from my dating standpoint. I, I like I, I. It's hard for me to put in like full effort that I used to because I got other shit to do. And if and if I have to deal with like. The stuff that I'm going on in my life and my emotions, and then somebody tries to put their baggage on me, I'm not sure I'm ready for that right now. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure I'm emotionally well off enough where I can, like, carry that. Not carry it, but, like, even just be like, oh, she's like, oh, man, I've had a terrible day and I want to talk. And I'm like, yeah. We'll just go into it. Share go into emotion. It. Yeah. Go it, it's not like I don't care, but it's like. It's enough for only one person. Well, let me say this. Go, person, not for multiple. go into yeah. this thinking that they have the same problem, they have the same challenge. They're talking to one person, maybe two, maybe three. Yeah. And 
Maybe you're the front runner. Maybe you're not. But that's but that's assuming. I feel like that might be assuming. That's not much. assuming. One, just, of, one just of the ladies is older, just, though. It could be a possibility. It that's could not. That too. That they're older. Well, and girls and girls when they're older yeah, they, just don't want to deal with bullshit, so they're probably not juggling but it dudes. It doesn't mean that they don't have other options. For sure. Well, that's but that's a thing. So like, so the girl that I got her number of, we still have it. Actually, I'm pretty sure she just sort of was like, "All right, later." It's a key honor. I told you, she's a dick. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's from like uh, the most loving standpoint I can have about her. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah, we kind of like agree to meet, and then she just hasn't even texted me since. So I'm like, all right. I think right. she lives in SB also. She, oh, that's yeah, far. she doesn't live here. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, so that makes things way harder. Mm-hmm. Anyway, anywho, I, I like the minute that that I that she was like sort of not putting in, I guess, sort of the same effort that I was trying to put out there. I just didn't. I was like, eh. yeah, I just, shouldn't. Yeah. yeah, I just I've done because I've done it too many times, and I get mm-hmm. burned, and I'm sitting there for like two weeks just being like, what yeah. the fuck. Yeah. So that's so like that's that's the only reason why I'd be like, if you want to do two, sure. But I would do it on like a friendship level. The minute one starts to get more serious than the other, you drop the other one like a bad habit. That would be me. That's me though. Yeah. And also, as a younger, it's kind of like it's a red flag if they're like having issues connecting and even starting a relationship at their age. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you're like four or five years on me. Maybe uh, if you can't, if I want it, you don't want it. Then shit, I don't think anyone wants it. Yeah. Yeah, that's like probably what you want. Independent yeah. woman. Because well, they're usually at that age that they know what they want. So yeah, mm-hmm. you both. Yeah, it's, it's more a mutual agreement at that point. Anybody want more alcohol? But you should do it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm down. You should, I just, you should do. Just it's okay. I have it's it's, it's a okay. topic of conversation every it's time it's I go right. to church. So yeah, I have no choice. D- does fuckers. anybody else know? They all know. Oh. Not all know. Like I think it's. I you might have like said young adults is definitely like yeah six of us maybe five of us that church oh, like twenty four over yeah that are still like young and Thank give you. a shit about yep. fucking being young and not Bible numbers. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <seriously. laughs> that's like that's I think that's why we all get along because like we're. We vibe and shit like young. that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul talking about like, <clears throat> oh, can you turn down the sound? It's raping my ear. <laughs> Say that. I was word. like, I was like, you're just gonna throw that word out in church. <laughs> I was like, okay, you are you are a different breed, sir. Well, you're, let me see, let breed. me say this. Are you are, do do both of them go to your same church? Um, that's go to you. That's the other thing. You. I don't want to fucking have her go there. I'm singing. Yeah, then you're fine. This, you can just do oh, both. It's okay. She's in your element. Yeah. My element take me out of my element. Take me out my element. Nah. You'll be good. You'll be good. Uh, I'm excited for you. That's kind of nice. Plus, yeah. I mean, dude, as we all have, it was, we all have learned, music sort of can be an aphrodisiac, so. Frank Ocean. Yeah, Dude, man. I it sing to my nice. girlfriend now and then. Now and then. Well, you sing to her? It's oh, really nice. Play that sweet. guitar. Play that acoustic. Oh, I just sing just a cappella. Oh, damn. Okay. You're like, what you she hasn't seen me play guitar yet. Salad. <laughs> You're all like, salad. Somebody yummy, yummy. once told me the world yeah. was gonna yeah. roll me. I, I ain't the, the sharpest tool in the shed. shed. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll be single for a long time. I was like, ah, oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> it hits you fast. Isn't it? It's kind of weird. Like, I don't know if you guys have had the same feeling, but like back when you're in high school, mm-hmm. getting girls yeah. is completely different from getting girls now. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Cause one you're always thing, in their environment. You can meet girls. Yeah. One thing is that I, I feel like girls are more inclined to Pumps. let you know that you're attractive and yeah. they'll hit on you. You have to see the signs versus now. back in, you know, high school where it's like, you just have raging hormones and you're just like all about just trying to get this. Well, that's the stupid fucking shit with this fucking social you. media shit. And people now they're like, all right, I'm going to, okay. From a teaching standpoint, Teacher from Jeremy. a mature standpoint, it is fine for women. You might be interested in to post photos of them being confident and showing themselves off in a demeanor, which is not for Men, but for their girlfriends and themselves to see how. We'll side note that because I got something, something about but my then, church. Okay, the so horror side, side of me, the real side of me, is like, why are you sh- fucking posting this shit if you're not trying to be all single and shit? Yeah, <laughs> got a good point. Yeah, that's a two sides of the coin. Like, I don't want to be talked to you this way. I was like, well, I'm this- trying to accost you, madame, but you're saying you're not 
want to be talked to this way, as in someone's interested in you this way because you're posting these photos. Mm -hmm. So don't post these photos if you don't want to be accosted in such a way. Very Teaching true. side is you go ahead, you show how confident you are in yourself and keep yeah, doing you. that. If it's to be for a guy, then that picture will be sent exclusively to that guy or girl mm -hmm. or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. And that's the world we live in today, boys and girls, our audience. It's, true. it's hard to read signs because the signs and signals are being mixed. Yeah. yeah. It's, well, and social media can kind of mix those more. Yeah. It's, it's hard. That's, I mean, that's sort of the reason why I don't, like, I'm not on really Facebook. I Instagram only for our channel. I don't mm -hmm. have my own Instagram. Like, I just sort of just got off those sites. But it sucks because I, 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 in a way, I probably should be on those because it's kind of playing the game. It's yeah, kinda, you got to yeah, play the game. You got to play the game. And, and, I, <laughs> and, I, and I can't True. stand... And honestly, like... like True. I can't stand playing the game. I, I honestly, like... I, I, I hate playing the game as well, but you have to play the game. I know. Well, I hate the game. Got, I think we... Maybe I've been screwed over too many times. I think we used to call it the chase. Yeah. yeah. I think it's Blake used game. to put it. so annoying. Well, I'm see, too, I don't mind Like, I'm chase. too old for that shit. I don't yeah, mind the chase, though. So, like, if you get... Like, let's say you get the girl's number and there's like some sort of like some back and forth there that I don't mind as much but mm -hmm. it's like but sometimes it can be the uncertainty yeah of like the of like all right oh she says she is like oh do you an x y and z and then I see on Instagram oh she's hanging out with a bunch of dudes or something and then you're just yeah. like oh but you man. Gotta no, drop, I don't know you and got, it could be nothing you gotta drop something like, in there ah, ah. Yeah. you gotta drop something in there so you can just you know let her know hey the balls in my court bitch <laughs> You're not, you're got not wrong. Balls in my court, bitch. Yes, you just let her know that. Spoken you like a her. true Judge yes. Judy. You, you message, you message her. <laughs> judge, I can judge Judy. Balls in my court, bitch. <laughs> I, I just oh, love shit. that gif of her fucking. <laughs> no, that time. Out of time. That's my. Because she looks like I don't know. She just looks like a little kid, kind of doing it. She's just, just, just <laughs> like, like I don't know. She's like. She's I making so much money off that fucking Hell yeah. show. I remember when that shit came out. I'm like, this is ridiculous. We're gonna end on Judge Judy salary and butter burger. This shit's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Sakura. It is right. No way. Her yeah. salary is the reciprocal of her age. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought you were being mean. I should have, you said reciprocal, not, mm -hmm. I thought, you, for some reason I heard equivalent and I was like, she's 47 million years old. You're dead. Uh, 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 <laughs> I'm a son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, she makes 47 per year just to have fake court cases about people arguing about, yeah. like, his dog took a shit on my lawn. I didn't allow him to. She's also, I think, Jewish as shit. Scheindlin? Oh, 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 man. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, oh, she's, that's her I'm name? pretty, and Jerry. Oh, yeah. oh, Ronald Levy? Are you kidding me? Oh, she's Jew through and through, man. Her kids were old as shit, Born in too. New York? Oh, dude. Her daughter was born in 1968. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that's her youngest. <laughs> that's... Damn. Oh my she's, God. Like, she's 10 years younger than my mom. Oh, she my God. She got famous in the 90s, right? I think she got famous in the 90s. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, my God. Adam Levy. Yeah. That's Gregory also a Jewish Levy. name. 64. Heart right. 66. Oh, her kids are old as shit. Judge Judy's old as shit. Yeah, she is. She's yeah. extremely old. She doesn't have to do much. Just sit on her chair, talk shit, yeah. and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all she has to do. It must be, in a way, I feel like it's almost too easy. There's some yeah. cases where, like, both play, like both parties, or even just one party, is so fucking dumb. Mm -hmm. There is just like, no shit, you're an idiot. And I get to, like, there's so many reasons why you're an idiot, and I'm eloquent enough, and I've been through so much bullshit since I'm 74. I feel like it's, like, it's so much that, like, you just have to play with it. You just yeah. have to and you just entertain yourself. You must get bored. It must and just, get like, start to fucking with them. after a while, yeah. you know? Yeah. Just like, hey, I'm here. I'm making money. I and might then I'll just, like, tell you you're fake. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then what just point do you think it stopped being... Like normal cases until it started being reality. Uh, After like the third happened. episode, like the, the third episode, like Jerry Springer, <laughs> yeah. Show. Yeah, that. Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like if there's anything that might involve maybe divorce, like couples, that can usually be pretty serious. But there's there's usually ones like I like like the uh, they'd be like, oh, I parked my car here. And then their their fence went on my car, and then they wouldn't pay for the fence. And my fence the fence scratched my car, and and then the other guy's like, I didn't even know I had a fence. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, fucking really? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I, so I, I don't know. I, I think there's probably somewhere she's like, oh, you guys actually are 
like mad and you need something to mm-hmm. sort of be dealt with mm-hmm. but I feel like the majority is not that but I don't know I don't even watch enough Jeff Ju- Ju- Jeff no Jeff Judy Jeff Jeffrey yeah, Jeff Judy no it's Judge Judy Jeff, maybe Jeff be, Judy. The, be the uh, the sayer of everything on that Jesus. so I'm Jesus. gonna end on Culver's we talked about we were talking about In-N-Out earlier what did and you say I mentioned Paul? Okay. Culver's yeah, Butter Burger Butter Burger yep sir and what? so there's a Midwest burger chain that they have burgers and mind you like a pint of beer in the Midwest is like a buck fifty, or like two dollars. It's under three dollars. <laughs> they want you to get drunk and fat. Yeah, and so uh, they put burgers, oh. big, thick Angus burgers. You see the butter on the bun. But they throw like you know that like square slabs of butter. Yeah, they put that like three of those on each patty, so you have six slabs of burger, a, a butter on your burgers. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of butter. Yeah, yeah watching like a video, I was like, "Yeah, it's just a shit ton of butter." They said it's great. Yeah, you're gonna have between like three to six slabs of butter on your burger. I have to try that. I want to try it also. That's yeah. So fucking good. Look at that. I, I want it. it. All right, guys. Yeah. Eloy, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at yole underscore valentine dot no on Twitter. Writer <laughs> slash actor <laughs> slash mm-hmm, producer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Colin, where can they find you? 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 You find me on Twitch TV slash Bad Inputs with an N. Ferg, where you usually find these guys on stream as well, and then you can find me on Twitter at the Ferg91, and then sometimes we post to Instagram if there's something that's Instagram worthy. Where can they find you? You can find me on twitch.tv slash bad inputs. There's no I because we take the I yeah. out between the me and you, and uh, making marionettes. And then on Togalurk15 on Twitter, you can find me talking about the best ways to infuse your salad with. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to say deathly well, stuff. You guys Sounds next tasty. Time. Bye. Yes. Puss Ranch Salad. Well, I'm going to barf. You, uh, you as take, long as it's the same no, color. No, no, you as take the, the bumps from chlamydia, you chop them off, and make it drain it into salad leaves. Oh Bye, my guys. God. Oh, I'm hard. Huh.